Welcome to the Life Touch Yearbook Training Series. In this episode, you'll learn how to edit one portrait in a portrait panel. This can be helpful when you need to adjust a portrait to match the rest of the portraits in the panel. Here we have a portrait panel of staff portraits. Let's use the magnifying glass to zoom in on the area we'd like to work on. Great. So as we look at the portraits in this group, I see an image that doesn't quite match the style of the other portraits on the page. See how Mr. Short's portrait looks more zoomed out than the portraits around it? Let's see if we can help it look more cohesive. First, we're going to select the portrait panel by clicking on it. Next, we'll click the pencil. You'll notice that the first image is outlined in red to show it's selected. If I would like to edit a different portrait, I just click to select it. See? The little red outline will follow whichever portrait I select. Okay, let's go to Mr. Short's portrait. To pull up the portrait editing tools, I'm going to right click on the portrait. And here we have our menu of adjustments we can make. First, let's select pan and zoom image. We can use the blue selector to make the image smaller or larger. I can click Fit to automatically fill the space while maintaining the image's original aspect ratio, meaning that it won't get stretched or squished. I can click in the text box and press the up and down arrow key on my keyboard to adjust the size 1% at a time. Or I can type in a value. I'll type in 7. That looks like a good size. Now I'm going to click and drag the image to align it with the images around it. A good rule of thumb is to align the subject's eyes to the eyes in the portraits next to it. There! Now I'll click outside the portrait panel to close that menu. Anywhere on the canvas is fine. Let's make one more change. You notice how the subject in the portrait is facing the left, while the other portraits are oriented toward the right. Let's flip this image so it matches. So I still have this photo selected, you can tell by the red border. Let's right click on the portrait again to pull up the tools menu. Then let's select flip to flip the image horizontally. There, that looks good. We can also use this menu to view and edit information on this person or subject. Let's click back to return to the menu. This time, let's select Edit Subject. This pulls up the Edit Subject Information dialog box, where we can edit things like names, nicknames, group affiliations, and add additional images. If you'd like to learn more about this, be sure to check out our episode that shows how to edit a subject record. For now, I think all this information looks good, so let's close this menu by clicking the X. One last menu item to discuss. Say we want to edit someone's name on one page of our yearbook without affecting how that person's name appears in other areas of the yearbook. For example, Mrs. Burton is also a soccer coach and would like to be listed on this page as Coach Burton. Let's make that change together. First, we're going to select the portrait panel by clicking on it. Next, we'll click the pencil. We're going to select the portrait by clicking on it. We'll pull up our tools by right-clicking the image, and this time select Edit Individual Student Name Style. And see what's happened? The text below the photograph has now been converted into a text box that is fully editable. Let's click on the text box to get a better view. I'm going to click in the text box and type Coach. I'd also like to change the text color. So we're going to highlight the text we want to edit, and then open the Tools menu for this text box. We'll select Font Color, and then let's choose a dark blue. Let's exit the menu by clicking off the panel. Anywhere on the canvas is fine. Now that we've zoomed back out, maybe we don't love the change to the name we just made. If we want to delete our name edits and revert back to the standard naming convention, we just select the text box and click the Trash button. Next, we'll reopen our tools menu for this portrait by clicking the panel, selecting the pencil tool, selecting the portrait, and right-clicking on the portrait. Then, we're going to select Restore Student Name Style, and click off the panel. There! The name is back to the way it was originally. Now we can save our work by clicking Save. And that's how to edit one portrait in a portrait panel. For more info on creating and working with portrait panels, check out our other episodes. Happy yearbooking!